Hi everyone, welcome back to the Getter Brewed channel. So today we're in the new Getter Brewed Brewick showroom. We are massive fans of the Brewix brand. It is the world leading brand for small scale microbrewery production. So we have a Brewix 200 system, a Brewix 300 system, and we have a Brewix 500 liter system. So for me, whenever customers approach us considering starting a microbrewery, um, what we find with them is that they have a desired output in their head for whether they're going to self-distribute, whether they're going to open a brew pub, whether they're going to go for scale and look to create enough beer for export markets or for um, dealing with one of the large supermarket chains. So, all the options here allow you to do that in different ways. So first of all, we'll look at the Brewix 200 liter system. Brewix 200 system is a entry level microbrewery. It's designed for small scale brew pubs and for microbreweries or nano breweries that want to do everything themselves. So to make a living, to make a healthy living from it, that means that it's usually a one man band. So you brew the beer, you distribute the beer, you deliver the beer, do everything with this system. It is possible to live out that dream and start your own brewery with one of these, but to fulfill expectations, we explain to people that this is probably the smallest possible entry level into starting your own microbrewery in the terms of making that successful. So it's possible to brew high ABV beers, it's possible to brew beers with all sorts of weird and wonderful adjuncts, whether that be pasta or flour or just a, a great beer. You know, the opportunities with this system are endless. Everything has a dual role. So the copper is the kettle, is the mash tun. It's a mixed mashing vessel. And then the loiter tun has a dual purpose. It's the loiter tun and it's also the whirlpool. So if we take a look inside this vessel, so you can see the patented mix mashing system inside there. So we bring our um, hot water, strike water, whatever your water, brewing liquor, whatever your terminology you want to, to use in here, bring it up to the temperature for mashing in. We add our grains manually. So the grains are just added manually by hand here. And then we switch the pump on, starts the mix mashing. The reason we use the patented mix mashing system is to ensure that you get the enzyme activity that you need from the mash in a very quick period of time. So mash is complete, then transfers to the loiter ton. We spray a mist from the mist ball on top of the loiter ton through the grain bed, and then the pump draws off the bottom of the loiter ton. It's called vacuum loitering. So we bring the wort back over here into the kettle, and then at this stage, we bring, bring that to a rolling boil and add hops during the boil as and when required. The wort is then transferred to the whirlpool and then transferred through the cooling coils that are built inside the walls of the system. So the system's very innovative in that it's very compact. It's plug and brew. So we have the five pin uh, plug, literally plug it into the wall. The system's on wheels, so you can see that you just move it into place and that's you ready to start brewing. So all you need is an electricity supply and a water supply with Brewix and your plug and brew. That's one of the, the perks of this system. I guess the reason that I've chosen to start with the 200 is to start at the smallest entry level and work your way up. The difference between the 200 and the three or the five is that the Brewix 200 is heated with thermal oil. So there's thermal oil in the jacket here and we have the heating elements at the rear that are inserted into the jacket. So what they tend to do as they bring the jacket up to the required temperature. That's to achieve your mashing temperatures and your subsequent boiling temperatures. We also have a heat exchanger built into the bottom of the system and we have a pump built into the bottom of the system. So this is a true plug and brew package. Now, if you're looking at a 200 liter system, my personal opinion and from my experience would be that you should buy fermenters at least twice the size and you could look at buying fermenters four times the size to allow you to double batch brew per day into them. So if you take this system, um, for me, there's general rule of thumbs in terms of output. So you could approach this in a couple of different ways. 
you can put in a high ABV beer and liquor it back in the Whirlpool to create extra volume. Or you can push the system just by multi-batch brewing um, to allow you to achieve those higher outputs. Because if you're starting a brewery and you're wanting that brewery to, to provide an income for you and to provide a living, you want to make sure that you buy the correct equipment that allows you to brew higher volumes consistently so that you can consistently make a good income. The Brewix 200, actually we have uh, designed a copper hood attachment for this that turns it into a copper pot still and that's what we use, use it for on our own small craft distillery here at Getterbrewed. So the system obviously has had the condensing arm removed from it but um, this, this system has the exact same replica of the 300 and the 500 just on a smaller scale. We've been successfully using this system without issues since 2016. So you can imagine that this is built the last and there's a reason why Brewix gives such a long warranty and such a long guarantee is because they've confidence in their brand and uh, it's premium quality and there's no shortcuts taken. So that's why we can confidently say this is a world leading piece of brewing equipment. So moving on to the Brewix 300, we've had a number of um, breweries use this size system and have been very successful. So the Brewix 300 has a 470 litre uh, volume in the kettle, copper, mash tun, whatever your preferred word is. So same as the 200, everything works in the same way that you have multiple uses for each vessel. So this is a slightly newer model than the 2016 model that we have here, but again, exceptionally good quality machine. Um, it's innovative in the sense that it allows you to push volumes in relation to the alcohol content that you can create. So some similar systems on the market limit you to 5.5% beer. Um, we have breweries confidently and consistently and successfully brewing upwards of 10, 11, 12% beers on these systems with absolutely no issue. They're designed to be strong and robust. I've mentioned that they can use um, ingredients that other brewing systems just wouldn't be able to cope with. So for me, Brewix 300 is for someone that's wanting to enter as a small microbrewery with the ability to scale their volumes if required. So if you have picked yourself up some of the CCT fermenters, this is a CCT 50, 650 litre fermenter, so if you're using the Brewix 300 system, we would be double batch brewing into that, fermenting in the tank and exceeding volumes regularly, so that if you look at comparative systems as a 300 litre system, it's very easy to end up with, you know, 600 litres of packaged beer at high ABV using one of these systems. So. I mentioned this before, there's some general rule of thumb figures for maximum output. So if this holds 470 litres in the kettle, that we have worked out that as a rule, you can end up with a roughly 14% less um, as packaged beer at high ABV. So if you push this to its limit every single time that you do a brew and you're doing 470 litres, you can expect to get 86% of that volume as packaged volume out at the other end of the process. And we can prove that we can do that consistently and successfully. So some of our brewers use a system like this size and they add 20% more grain than the recipe would call for. And then they liquor back in the Whirlpool to push those volumes even higher. So that's why we recommend Brewix is that it allows you to generate an income because you're able to hit and exceed volumes regularly and consistently. Okay, so now for the, the big one and the three offerings is the Brewix 500. You can see visually the recent update has seen that we have um, a new seven inch touchscreen control panel. Um, this system is the system that, that we use in our own brewery. It's an incredibly impressive piece of kit and it's possible to really push extraordinary volumes out of this kit. So we would, brew several times a day on this kit and if you take that it's a Brewix 500 again the, the volumes in this are much higher than 500 so in the kettle, copper, mash tun, whatever you want to call it we can push 760 litres out of this and in the loiter tun 
we can push 840 litres out of it. So that's incredible volume. And if you take that you do a double batch brew day, you have then the possibility of brewing those volumes twice per day in approximately 10, 11 hours. It depends how quick that you can operate and how quickly you can get used to it. So there's some brewers that say a double brew day can take them 12 hours when they start and um, our own in-house head brewer here, he's regularly hitting double batch brew days in 10 hours. An impressive piece of kit. Now, what we would recommend with a system at this size is that um, you buy fermenters that would allow you to at least double batch brew into, if not quadruple batch brew. So if you have a CCT 200, it's a 2,700 liter fermenter, um, which would allow you to brew um, four batches of beer into that. And what you're wanting to do there is brew two batches of beer the first day, pitch the yeast, and come back in the next day, then the yeast viability is multiplied, and that means that you're obviously making efficiency savings with your yeast, and then you can double batch brew into that again the second day. Um, one of the other perks with the CCT cylindrical pressurized conical fermenters that we have is that um, you can monitor your fermentation and naturally carbonate in the fermenter. So we would recommend to our customers that they, they go for a CCT, and then that means that they can monitor the fermentation curve, and when they're approximately six points off final gravity, close off the valves and allows the beer to naturally carbonate. So we call that a unique selling point here where it's naturally carbonated, unfiltered, unpasteurized craft beer. Um, we believe that's an exceptionally good uh, selling point. And if you're naturally carbonating beer, the bubbles are naturally smaller and it produces a nicer mouthfeel. And obviously there's environmental savings and impacts there as well. So the good thing with Brewix talking about environmental savings is that you can recycle the water from the cooling to allow you to mash in for the next batch. So we have a counterflow chiller built into the walls here. So if you can imagine a stainless steel tube with another stainless steel tube around the outside of it and the hot wort is flowing around the center tube and cold water around the outside. As the wort is cooled with the cold water, that then um, generates warm water coming out. So we just put the hose back into the mash tun, collect that uh, warm water. It's usually coming out at around 65 degrees, which means that you have a very short period of time to allow the um, temperature to, to correct, to allow you to mash in straight away. So good environmental impacts there, saving you energy costs. So a lot of people ask us about costs in relation to electric for these systems. Now they're three phase systems and obviously plug straight in with a five pin three phase plug. With the Brewix 500, we'd said that the maximum volume is 760. Um, personally, we tend to brew 650 litre batches. Um, if you're wanting to push the volumes, we would suggest that the easiest way to do that is to brew a slightly higher gravity than that if you want to go above and beyond the 650 litres and then liquor that back in the Whirlpool. Those type of things come with experience and learning how to use the system and we can give you calculations that allow you to, you know, to, to maximise and push output to the extreme but as a Brewix 500 if you're regularly packaging 650 litres out of that there um, we believe that that is good revenue that allows you to grow your business because you're packaging more quality beer um, out of every single batch. The last thing we want is to sell a system to someone that isn't achieving their expectations. So we will work with you to help you get the system optimized to suit your needs because at the end of the day, it's very important that if we supply you a brewery, that you're successful and that your brewery is a reflection of our brand as well as your own brand. The thing to remember with the Brewix is that everything goes through the pump. So the pump is mounted in the bottom of the Brewix system. It's the same for 200, 300 and 500. Operationally, if you remember, everything goes through the pump. It's very easy to, to use the system. Now everything's got um, numbers and descriptions on each port to allow you to, to work out what they're for. So if you follow the loops that you create with your brewery hose, so with every system, there's three pieces of, of hosing that comes, a one meter, a two meter, and a three meter. And we do have instructions that tells you, you know, attach to number nine and also number two. And 
then open the valves and shut the valves. But the key thing to remember is everything goes through the pump. So if you follow your loops, it's very rare that you'll go wrong. And um, as it has the pump mounted in the bottom, also has the heat exchanger mounted on the bottom that allows you to generate the heat for your sparge water. It has a side glass there, obviously built in to allow you to see the wort flowing also. So the Brewix system is designed to be beginner friendly. Um, we have our head brewers written some guides on how to use it, some practical guides, as well as the factory writing um, a control or user manual but the practical guides just make things that little bit easier to understand and how to achieve the best out of a brew day and speed your brew day up. One other thing that I wanted to look at, it's the same for Brewix 200, 300 and 500, is the condensing arm. So the reason this is here is to reduce the steam during the boil process. So if you imagine that you've brought your wort to a rolling boil, and the reason we have this little, um, little water connection here is you put cold water connection through a hose lock connector on here and as the steam comes off the boil, it comes in here, hits the cold water, condenses, and then that throws that onto the floor. So if you have that near a drain, it means that the, the room that you're brewing in isn't filled with steam, and it also condenses it and puts it the drain. So it's an easy way of managing the steam in your brew house. We've been personal friends of Demir and Mocha husband and wife team that run Brewix for a long, long time from when we met them in Slovenia. They have great ethics, they're great people to work with. Their team over there are very talented, very driven. Um, this is handmade stainless steel. It's um, European source stainless. It's manufactured in Slovenia. It's built by hand. It's using all the best components and it comes with an unbelievable guarantee and warranty. So we believe that you can buy this system with confidence. And if you're interested in hearing about more of our Brewix customers, get in touch. We can give you some points of reference close to you. If we don't have a point of reference close to you, then we'd like you to be that point of reference and we'll work with you to create a showpiece in that area. So you can see that we have some of the Brewix CCT fermenters in the background here. So this is a Brewix CCT 125. Capacity has um, 1600 liters. Now you'll see with the Brewix fermenters, they always come fully decorated and that includes the electrical control panel. So electrical control panel is the wall mounted panel that manages the electricity going to the tanks. We then have the, the little touchscreen Brewix fermentation monitoring on the front of them. So you set your heating or cooling. Um, it displays the temperature inside the tank and it displays the temperature obviously that you set that you want the, the wort to be fermenting at. It has uh, pigtail sampling taps. It's got the butterfly valves. It's got solenoids. It's got all the ball lock valves. Um, Bonding valve. It, it comes exceptionally well decorated and a lot of other brewery equipment manufacturers will give you a price for the stainless steel tank but then you have to add all the extras. We always sell our tanks fully decorated and we use the term plug and brew because we genuinely mean that. If we arrive to install a brewery we put the, the Brewix uh, hot side of equipment in just by plugging it in and attaching the water to it. We put a glycol cooling lip onto these and they're good to go as soon as they're in. This is a Brewix CCT 100, 1270 litres. So in this particular one, we've added an extra racking arm and an extra port. If you want accessories or different fittings put onto your tanks, we can accommodate that. If you wanted something tri-clamped or if you wanted a different DIN fitting, or if you want to use tri-clamp instead of RJT, that's all possible. All you have to do is ask. So the Brewix uh, CCTs that you see here, the 125 and uh, the 100, they're coming with uh, the hatches. You can see the twist, the twist knobs that allows you to lift openly. And the, the CCT50 here has a slightly different manhole cover in that allows you to open in as well as out. Um, most of the tanks that come into the UK and Ireland come with these, but at the moment we've noticed um, a few requests to have slightly different tops. Again, it's up to the customer. If you want a glass lid, we can put a glass lid on for you. If you want it to be stainless steel with a 
you know, like a din fit into a uh, dry hop and port, we can do that. All these things are possible. Um, you'll also see that um, on some of our tanks, we have the indication mark to show you how many liters of beer is in it at any one time. Some of our customers, especially in the south of Ireland, it's a legal requirement to have that there, whereas in the UK, it's not asked for in the same degree from the revenue. So you can see here that we have a selection of tanks. Um, if you're interested in a Brewix microbrewery and you want to come to our showroom and see the equipment, you're very welcome to make an appointment with us. If you're at the stage of making decisions about which Brewix would suit for you and you want to come and do a brew day, again, these things are optional and we can facilitate that if you want to get in contact. We've been working with them for a long time now, right from when the Brewix brand became um, from a concept right through to what it is today. So these are three options that we have in their catalog of products. These products are modular, so you could add a plus, which would allow you to exceed the expectations and output even more. You can go for the pub version, you can go for the Brewix 1000 or the 2000. So there's lots of options. The reason I'm showcasing these today is it's aimed at beginners, newcomers, startups. So if you're interested in starting your own microbrewery, brew pub, whether you want to put a brewery in your restaurant, your hotel, or you've just always dreamt about professionally making your own beer, we have options for you here. Um, and the solution we believe that is the best in the world right now is Brewix. So we want to hear from you. Uh, how do you get in contact? Drop us a message in social media with your contact details. Fill out the contact form in the microbrewery section on the website, pick up the phone, drop us an email, whatever your preferred choice of communication is. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.